the number one TTS model is now up for commercial use. The number one free TTS model is up for commercial use. The new model is called Kokoro TTS and in this video we're going to explore how good the model is and how can you make use of the model. First of all this model is built on top of something that is called Style TTS which is itself a very popular open source TTS solution. And if you're very new here you have got no clue what is a TTS. TTS stands for Text to Speech. This is the model that is going to help you, for example, talk to LLMs, hear LLMs, what they are saying. If you want to read aloud an audiobook, it's going to help you. If you want to convert a text into a podcast, it is going to help you. So TTS models have a really good real world impact. Now, why is this model the number one open source model? First of all, the model is licensed Apache 2.0. That means you can do anything that you want with this model. You can use it for commercial purpose, which is truly open source. If you go to the Hugging Face TTS Arena leaderboard, this model is numbered four at this point. There has been a little bit of shift between Fish Speech V1.5 and Kokoro. But the problem is Fish Speech is not a model that is available for commercial use. And that makes Kokoro the number one commercially available model. Every other model in top five does not let you allow use this model for commercial use. And the next best model at this point is Style TTS 2. So this is basically the best commercially available open source model if you want to self-host a TTS solution and then use it. Now what's good about this model? The model comes with 10 unique voice packs and it also has got an ONNX version available. So ONNX is extremely helpful if you want to host this model without having to rely on GPU. Like for a lot of real-time use cases, if you want to implement with WebRTC, then this model is going to be extremely helpful for you to use it. Now enough of talking about this model now we're going to do two things one we're going to see how good the model is and two we're going to compare the model with other existing models and then see how good the model rakes up so very first thing i want to just simply say the number one free gts model is up for commercial use we have got a lot of different voices here. We've got a bunch of female voices and we have got a bunch of male voices. At this point, it is all US because I've selected US, but we can select the different language, UK English, French, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. So let me play this for you. The number one free TTS model is up for commercial use. That's a that's a pretty good TTS to be honest. And they've got a they've got a long form tab as well. If you want to generate something for long form, and very soon after this video, in a couple of days, I'm going to launch a video how you can run this locally um, in your own uh, let's say GPU or in your own cloud environment, so you don't have to share your data with anybody. So the latest version, the V0.23, if you were to see that model, so this is what we got in. Uh, US English. Now I want to switch to UK English. Let's see how it is going to be. The, num the number one free TTS model is up for commercial use. That's pretty good again. Um, I don't know what to say it in French. The only thing I know in saying French is bonjour. So I'm going to say bonjour. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it even correctly. Bonjour. Okay, that, that seems good. The voice has, uh, you know, the typical attraction of the French voice. So now what we're going to do right now is I'm going to test it with a few sentences with the different settings. And the sentences are going to have uh, different emotional levels. The first one we are going to test is a happy sentence. And we're going to see if the model is able to explain or express the happiness of the voice. So this is a happy sentence. Wow, wow, this is the best surprise I've ever had in my life. I would say it's pretty flat. I wouldn't say like it has got a lot of expressiveness and I don't see a lot of parameters to change it. Maybe programmatically we should be able to change it. Now a sad sentence. I can't, I can't believe it's over. Everything feels so empty now. But honestly speaking, the voice is pretty good. Like it's got a really good, um, you know, the personal human touch. Now an angry voice. How could, how could you forget something so important? This is unacceptable. Okay, so I think in terms of the emotive expressiveness, I don't think this voice, uh, at least the TTS as its raw form, which we have in the spaces is not at its best. Like it doesn't show the expressiveness a lot, but still I think when it reads something, it does a pretty good job. So now we're going to compare this model with the industry leader who is 11 labs. So I'm going to go to the battle mode and I'm going to select 11 labs and I'm going to select Kokoro V.19. So I don't think we have got the V.23 here, but let's go with V.19. 
one nine and this take a storytelling so if you were to convert audio books for kids and then you want to use it let's see how the model is going to do when you compare it with eleven labs so uh, we have got two models this is the hugging face text uh, text to speech arena we can vote the model so the first one is eleven labs once upon a time in a quiet village surrounded by lush green hills a young girl discovered a hidden path that led to a magical world filled with talking animals and glowing trees. Okay, interesting. Now, Kokoro. Once upon a time, in a quiet village surrounded by lush green hills, a young girl discovered a hidden path that led to a magical world filled with talking animals and glowing trees. Honestly, I would close my eyes and if I listen this, you can go back and then listen this again. I would, I would definitely vote without any bias, not just because it's open source, but I would blindly vote for Kokoro in this particular case. So now we are going to have a text that is quite instructional. Imagine you are working for a corporate and you want to trans, uh, tra you want to make some part of your material uh, to have a speech. So this is what it is going to be. So it's a very simple sentence that says to prepare the perfect cup of coffee, start by grinding. It's it's like an instruction manual. So now again, the same setup, 11 laps and Kokoro start with 11 laps. To prepare the perfect cup of coffee, start by grinding fresh beans to the consistency of coarse sand, heat water to just below boiling, and slowly pour it over the grounds in a circular motion. That's pretty good. I mean, one of the reasons why you can still see 11 laps at the top of the game. But let's see what Kokoro does. To prepare the perfect cup of coffee, start by grinding fresh beans to the consistency of coarse sand, heat water to just below boiling, and slowly pour it over the grounds in a circular motion. That's pretty good, to be honest. Like, um, I don't know, in this case, I don't have uh, any um, different opinion. Um, but I think uh, this is like a pretty good TTS in this particular case with both the sentences. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do something where, uh, you know, it's got like certain dramatic elements to it. Uh, I'm not sure like how it would go do, uh, especially that we know TTS from Kokoro is not like very emotive. But we're going to try and see the sentence is the storm raged on through the night, lightning illuminating the sky in fears. Uh, honestly, like I feel bad to record this while there is like a strong fire in LA. So if you happen to, I don't think you would be watching this from LA, but if you happen to be in the US, I hope you stay safe. Uh, let's listen to 11 laps. The storm raged on through the night, lightning illuminating the sky in fierce jagged flashes as the ship's crew battled relentless waves that threatened to consume them whole. Okay, that's good, but I don't see a lot of emotion with 11 laps as well. The storm raged on through the night, lightning illuminating the sky in fierce, jagged flashes, as the ship's crew battled relentless waves that threatened to consume them whole. I, I feel, some, maybe like I've got some affinity to this voice, I feel um, Kokoro is better. So one of the most important thing with TTS is the way they use numbers, the way they cite numbers, recite numbers, speak numbers. So it is very important, imagine like you want to generate a system where you are in a production facility, so you want it to say the numbers very correctly. So I'm going to have like a couple of sentences that people typically say during uh, in the airport. So let's see how both the systems use numbers or say numbers. So I have got an announcement from airport and uh, the announcement is ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking you're currently cruising at an altitude of thirty-five thousand feet i don't definitely sound like an, a pilot um but let's let's listen to 11 laps ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking we are currently cruising at an altitude of thirty-five thousand feet and expect to arrive at our destination ahead of schedule that's interesting ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking we are currently cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet and expect to arrive at our destination ahead of schedule. This is brilliant. Like, Kokoro uh, is brilliant in this particular case. Let me know what you feel. Uh, I've got one more in this particular case where uh, we're going to talk about, like, attention. And uh, we're going to say, please uh, board before 11 Oh, oh, okay. So I'm going to just generate this. Attention passengers on flight 245 to New York, please proceed immediately. So again, you want to see this TTS if they can actually spit out the numbers in the right order without you know messing up with the numbers. Attention passengers on flight 245 to New York, please proceed immediately to gate 12 for final boarding. This is the last call. Please board before 11 o'clock. 
Honestly, I would have expected 11 laps to tell flight 245 instead of saying flight 245 because we are not looking for an integer or a floating point. It's so literally numbers. Maybe like that is my perception. But let's see what Kokoro does. Attention, passengers on flight 245 to New York. Please proceed immediately to gate 12 for final boarding. This is the last call. Please board before 11 o'clock. I think both the systems did say 245, but... I still like maybe there is something to the voice that personally uh, I'm attracted to. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe like hormones. But I still feel Kokoro is much better in this particular case. I'm going to pay attention to this leaderboard over the few coming uh, upcoming weeks. But I believe this is a solid model. And if you are building some kind of a TTS use case, I think you can close your eyes and use this model. Given that this is an 82 billion parameter model, you can literally download the model weights. Model weights are already available. And as a, you know, to the credit of the team, they've also shared the ONX weight. So you don't have to deal with converting into the format. And we are going to soon see, like hopefully in a couple of days, I'll be able to put out a tutorial of how you can use this model, whether it is your, on your own server, on your computer, or different places. But I I guess this is a solid model and i'll link all the links in the youtube description for you to play with let me know what you feel about this model for different languages especially if you're a chinese speaker or a korean speaker japanese speaker french speaker but honestly i feel pretty good with this model and uh, thanks to whatever this company is hexgrad thank you for listening happy prompting